the good old village hall. One chap who's visited more than most is the poet and playwright Ian McMillan. He's written about them, he's performed in them, and now he's sharing his passion with Inside Out. The reason I love village halls is they're places for everyone. Good. It's where the table tennis club makes way for dominoes, where the living with dementia session rubs shoulders with the toddler group. In a country where the civic space seems to be shrinking, halls like these are buildings where people of all ages come together. Some people collect train numbers. Some people collect team sheets from League Two reserve games. Me, I collect village halls. As a poet and performer, I've already visited hundreds, and my passion for these places has brought me here, to a not-so-sleepy village in Derbyshire. With popular pubs, a post office, and even its own health centre, until recently, Repton had just one thing missing. A village hall it could be proud of. Apparently, the old one was well past its prime. But wow, look at this village hall with its, its trendy grey windows. This feels like the most modern village hall I've ever been to. I'll go and test it out. Kieran, how are you? Morning, how was your trip? It was fantastic. Hey, tell Come show morning. me around. Right. Yeah, please Come do. And see. Welcome to the hall. This is the foyer. Here to greet me is Kieran Farrell, who for many years was the local GP. I've been told he was one of the volunteers who helped get this new village hall built. I'll show you the kitchen because oh, it was a particular design challenge right. because it has hatches on two sides, right. windows and doors, so fitting everything in was quite difficult. I always think the best thing about a village hall is the teapot. You have to have a massive, massive teapot. Oh, we have that. Where's the massive teapot? <laughs> Is it in the cupboard, Mark? Massive teapot? Yes. <laughs> Large teapots. <laughs> oh, yes. Now that, look at that. <coughs> but it hasn't got 40 years of tannin in it. But still, it's a classic, years. classic village old teapot. <laughs> One thing Kieran's proud to show me is his village hall's new sprung floor making it a great place to dance. It is a good sprung floor, this. People underestimate the joy of a sprung floor, not only for the user, but just for the performer. They're a great thing is a sprung floor. But none of this comes cheap. So the village held a referendum asking locals if they could stomach an increase in their council tax to help pay for it. This question said, are you prepared to pay the equivalent for a bandy house of 20 pounds 85 pence or some figure around that to fund this. 77% in favour. That's very good, isn't it? I must have been to about six or 700 village halls in the last 40 years. And the great thing about them is they're all different. Some are tiny, some are vast, some are falling to pieces, some are eccentric in a good way, some are eccentric in a bad way. But this is the most modern one I've ever been to. And it is like it's brand shiny new and it's just been taken out of the box. We used to have an old um, village hall built in the 1960s. It was cold, it leaked. This new facility is absolutely brilliant. You can see how modern it is. Well, the new village hall has just been so great for us because it's so clean and nice for children to play and they can roam around and everything's safe for them as well. It is, it's lovely, it is lovely. I wish I was a toddler myself. I know. And I'd come here, it'd be <laughs> great, wouldn't it? Yes. While Repton claims to have the newest village hall in the country, it's estimated there's over 10,000 older ones scattered across rural England. And you know what? There's always something going on. One thing I love about village halls is the notice board. It tells you what's happening. This one here at Newton Solney is a particular fine wooden and glass example donated by friends of Nora McEwen. It just tells you what you can do at the WI. In March, there's a talk on the life of a Parisian showgirl from Natalie Sims. And in April, Kevin Reynolds will be dispelling the myths on bats. On New Year's Day, they had an all-day rabbit show. And if you get tired, you can just go to slow floor yoga. Village halls, all human life is here. 
Exploring older village halls like this one just outside Burton-on-Trent can sometimes throw up unexpected surprises. I'm meeting historian Ben Robinson, who, just like me, has a passion for these places. Ben, nice to meet you. Good to see you. So, like I said, I've been to millions of village halls and I've never been to one with anything like this, have you? A rifle range, mm. it's, it's incredible. Bowling alleys, badminton courts, all sorts of stuff, but never a rifle range. They must have been expecting an invasion or something like that here. So, why is it about village halls? Why do we feel attracted to them? Because I've been to so many and they all have something, something unique about them, but it's hard to define what it is. I think because it brings a community together. It, it's the one space where, regardless of any other affiliations, you know, religious, where you work, what your background is, it's the one place where everyone can come and be welcome. And guests and strangers and people from outside all mix in this space. So, to have a village hall that belongs to the whole community, where everyone's welcome. That signals a change in society, and it's quite late. This doesn't start to happen until the middle, late 19th century and into the 20th century. Whether it's old or new, keeping a village hall going is not easy. Three quarters of them are owned by local community groups, and running one relies on a massive amount of goodwill. Eleanor Stubbs is from Rural Action Derbyshire and we're meeting in Muggington, one of the many halls I've already visited and ticked off my list. It's great to come back to a village hall that I've been to before because me and my mate Tony came here about eight years ago. I volunteer locally and I do notice that nearly all the volunteers have got grey hair like me and they're all of a certain age and that can be a thing, can't it, in the village hall. What do we do to get the younger people involved. It is a key challenge for mm. village halls to recruit new people, new volunteers. And it is those people that, you know, the halls rely on. That's the thing, isn't it, to realise that the village hall isn't simply a place for people my age, that anybody can come in and use it's it. It's all from ages. Mothers and toddlers upwards. Absolutely, yeah. all ages. You know, the role that the village hall plays within the local community to bring people together, to socialise, you know, there's nothing else that um, would replace the local village hall. To me, it seems to me that this is such an important place for this village, that without this place, the village would be much more fragmented. And you've got loneliness in little villages, but it all takes place behind closed doors, mm. so you don't know. So if you've got a place like this, people can come together and they can get to know each other, and you've got a real sense of community. It's brilliant. I think one of the things is that there is such a variety of activities that mm. happen here and it's a place where people from the community can come and meet together and get together and do a variety of different things. A national survey recently discovered visitors and volunteers to village halls across the country drink over 38 million cups of tea a year. I think I've kind of cracked. <laughs> No. It's not surprising, really, as these are popular places and playgrounds for the young and old. They're debating chambers and rehearsal spaces. They're the glue that sticks communities together. And building a new hall like the one in Repton is something we should all be proud of. And there's no better way to celebrate this wonderful village hall than by making an edible village hall cake. So let's cut the cake and cheer in a Repton style. Hooray! Well, that cake looked great. That's all we've got time.